units, assemble! Move it! Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on a Conqueror's Blade. So, Cataphract Lancer's got a rework. Perhaps not all that unexpected that they got a little bit of a buff. They've been in a pretty terrible state for quite a long time now. So I was kind of excited to check them out because they're a unit that I've actually not really played much of before. So I was kind of keen to see what they're like, see if the buffs made a big difference. Are they vastly improved? The short answer to that is... No, not, not 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 really. They've not improved all that much. Although, they have certainly got a little bit better than they once were, and they can be workable. For me, I found them to be sort of a bit of a cross between a budget Keshigs and a monastic Knights, which is a bit of a strange combination when you think about it. But let me explain a little bit why I think of them like that. The monastic Knights is for the charge wind-up. After playing quite a few games with these now, I find that they need a really good charge wind-up, like 50 meters charge wind-up, before they really start outputting a good amount of damage. And that's kind of unexpected for what is essentially supposed to be a fairly lightweight Keshig style cavalry unit with good mobility, fast movement speed, etc. And that's why I'm calling them like the Monastic Knights. And when I started to allow more distance to get the charge up to speed, then I've found them to be a lot more effective and the damage to be much more increased. And a budget Keshigs mostly for their send and return because they get two abilities. They get a cavalry charge out, essentially, where you know you charge forwards at full tilt. It doesn't really get much of the stun immunity that they talked about, if any at all, I'm not entirely sure. But then they get effectively a rally to me, a charge to the commander. Now this is essentially the same as the Keshig ability. It works in a similar way. I'd say it's slightly less effective. You kind of need to get a little bit of momentum up for it. But then, essentially, they return to you. It's kind of hard to actually use this as a charge. Maybe a spear hero could, because they could use the horse um, ability to sort of charge through the ranks and the unit will charge with you, you know, following towards you as a hero. But in most cases, it's quite hard to realistically get behind the enemy lines, call the unit to you, and survive because the rally to me cancels if you get yourself killed so you actually have to survive as your cavalry then charges to you through the enemy so generally i'm charging with the cavalry charge and then returning the unit to me with the rally to me so that's why they're a little bit like keshigs they don't get really any use in terms of just walking melee you know you can walk a unit of keshigs through an enemy unit and it absolutely cuts them to pieces plus they obviously recently got the rework with the um extra sabers ability where they just sort of go a bit ham with some sabers and kill everything in, in, in sight. They don't really do that, these cataphracts. So yeah, that's why I'm calling them a budget Keshigs. They're sort of like a Keshigs, they're just not really anywhere near as good as a Keshig. Um, in terms of actually attribute points, nothing super special. 10,000 hit points, not, nothing particularly amazing on the defensive stats. They probably are slightly more tanky than these stats do suggest. I mean, and that kind of actually leads me to doctrines where I am unfortunately missing the um, lance charge damage reduction. There's a 40% there's a damage reduction while charging doctrine, which I unfortunately haven't got. And I haven't got enough treaties to get one. So we can't have one of them. So that's what I've been running is the, obviously the reduced cooldown, which is really nice to have. Uh, the increased charge damage, a really essential one to sort of really just buff that up a little bit more. Then we've just gone for the movement speed, damage dealt to units. And, of course, just a little bit of extra piercing damage just to try and up that charge damage very, very slightly. Um, their leadership is obviously really low at the moment. I think this will be going back up at kind of the end of the sort of quote-unquote cataphrac event. But it's, um, at the moment, not too bad at 260. It's putting it basically down to the cost of a heroic era unit. So, yeah, interesting unit. Don't expect them to be amazing. But when you can get them to work, they can be okay. And they're certainly not worth completely dismissing. And they're not as horrible as some people are making them out to be. So anyway, let's hop into a battle with them. See how we've been getting on and see what we can do. So we kick things off on White Elk Fort. Just taking the A point, got to the supply point, swapping out to the cataphracts. And my plan is to go basically all the way around to the sort of other side of the enemy base. 
but we do have a unit of condos and some pikes there. Hmm, tempting. My first problem here is I haven't really got the distance I was talking about earlier. But we do manage to get in, do get the charge, and the unit does still smash through those pikes. The condos got really switched on player, get out of the way. So I charge them through, I'm then using the two ability to bring them back. Because when you activate that call to, call to me, rally to me, whatever it's called, then that gives them an element of immunity, stun immunity. So that means they have a much easier time getting out of combat. So they can kind of escape again. Some, somewhere where the Keshi sometimes struggle. But you can see that ability. I'm using the one to charge them out. Using the two to bring them back. And I'm able to get most of them back. Okay, we wasn't the greatest charge in history. But the point is they went in, got through a unit of units, enemy heroes, and got back with the fairly minimal losses. But basically, we can now rinse and repeat. The enemy is still stood there. My charge has come off cooldown. Much longer setup this time, get the distance they need, much more effective charge, picked up a nice good chunk of kills. Unfortunately, don't quite get the hero kills, but pull them back to me, activate rally to me, and the unit runs back to me. Even though there's that explosion there, you see they didn't get interrupted by the explosion, because they get that stun immunity for a period of time. And that's what makes them effective, that's kind of the, the way at least I've found to make them a viable unit. Next up, we spawn in on Orgolia. Doesn't always go to plan this one, but kind of shows some of the strengths and weaknesses of the unit. Anyway, C points under a lot of pressure, so I've just spawned in, trying to basically get there. Round the corner, a lot of stuff trying to make for those stairs. I just go straight in. Try and round the corner, straight up for the charge. Don't really get enough leading to charge momentum, so some of the unit gets stopped, doesn't do that much damage. You kind of see some of the problems of not building up that charge enough. Using the rally to me, that two ability to get the unit out of there though, and they actually get out with pretty much the whole unit. But unfortunately, we do lose the C point. Try and just save that hero there, which we just about managed to do. Get out, but now the enemy are pulling down from C. And we're going to be in trouble because I'm on that supply point, which is basically at the back there. We've got quite a lot of ranged on the team trying to get out. Um, but the enemy are going to start pushing in now. So I decided I've got to pull the unit out. Base is being capped, and I thought this was going to turn into one of those games where, you know, we lose every point before you even get there to have a fight. So I decided just to wheel left, pull straight up, and get out of there. But as I get to the top, I think, oh, I just caught a nice little run off here. So I wheel back around, aim for the edge of this building, and just go for a nice long charge. And you see, on the charge wind up, so much more damage. Cuts through the entire selection of units, cavalry, infantry, etc., then using the two ability again to get the unit back out. And look how we're taking a fairly minimum amount of damage considering we've just charged into, what, 60 enemy units or something? Quite a lot of stuff down there. And yet we're still able to get out and pull the unit out. And that's what I mean when I say that rally to me works quite nicely. And that's why it works a little bit like a unit of Keshigs. Unfortunately, I almost walked myself onto a treb strike. But we just going to get a bit lucky and kind of get away with that one. But then I'm mostly thinking it's probably going to be the D point that gets threatened. You don't often lose the base point on this map without first having lost D. So I've just been roaming around the D point a bit, but not a lot there. So I decided I wanted to try and flank round and basically get behind all the enemies coming from the C point. A couple of these um, palace guards just on the ground. But it takes me a while to notice the incoming Keshig charge. And at short range, we cannot build up our charge enough. And the unit basically just does nothing on the charge. Obviously, I get absolutely annihilated by the Keshigs. But because I hadn't built up that charge momentum, the unit didn't really do a lot of damage. They actually held up fairly well, all things considering, considering they just got charged in the face by a unit of Keshigs. But still, it's just a lot less flexible as a unit. And that's fundamentally its problem. Is it better than Keshigs? No. Keshigs exceed it in pretty much all situations. And that fundamentally is the biggest problem with this unit. But to not shoot them down completely, they aren't as bad as people have been saying they are. They do have a good charge, and they do do a lot of damage, so long as they get that sort of momentum built up before they hit the enemy. And the Rally to Me ability does give them a reasonable chance of escape, so they do hold up okay. But anyway, we shall end the video there, that's all I've got time for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, if you have, do let me know what you think about with the video and the unit in the comments down below and of course subscribe to the channel for lots more conquest blade content thanks for watching guys and i shall see you all on the next one